I have to admit, it was pretty impressive. I'm not bragging, but people at the potluck dinner were impressed. What impressed them was I walked into the kitchen that evening at church and pointed at a pot full of field peas. And I said, those peas are from Dothan, Alabama. Well, I could have been wrong, but what was so impressive was the lady who brought them said, yes, I bought those field peas in Dothan, Alabama. I'm not saying that anybody's jaw dropped or that I began signing autographs, but you have to admit, you can't do that. You can't walk into somebody's kitchen and say, those that okra right there is from Savannah and be right about it. Okay, how did I know that those field peas were from Dothan, Alabama? Well, that's where I grew up and we ate them all the time and I've never eaten them anywhere else. I don't know if they're not grown anywhere else. I don't know that. All I, all I, is, all I know is I, I know them when I see them. They just happen to be the best peas on the planet. Are you listening, Brian Edwards? And I thought I would never, ever eat them again. You see, since dad died years ago, my older brother died, and my mom has moved away, I don't have any family in Dothan. And so I only go there, kind of passing through, going to Florida, maybe to see the cemetery, see a friend or something. And so I thought I had eaten my last, very last Dothan field pea. Can we observe a moment of silence? <clears throat> so eating Dothan field peas took me on a journey in my mind back to when I was a kid. It reminded me of all those Thanksgiving meals that my mom cooked all those years and how much I and my brothers and my dad just loved those field peas. It took me back to, you know, turkey day, football games in the front yard. So eating field peas kind of made me a kid again and took me back on, on a, a journey in my memory back to those wonderful days. It made me thankful that I am the person I am today in large part because of the environment in which I grew up. Uh, wonderful parents and good brothers and great neighbors and friends, uh, good church, all those things contributed to being the person I am today. Uh, the field peas may have nourished my body but all those other things nourish my soul. As one writer put it, who you are is who you are. We're products to some degree, for better or worse, of our environment and the people and things that nourished us. Of course, we don't want to dwell too much on that. If we dwell too much on the past, then the past becomes an excuse for what we have not become. We should also move off the past because hopefully we've all changed some. So I grew up, grew up in South Alabama in the late 60s. Do you think I was around racism? Yeah. I heard it a lot. I saw it a lot. I didn't see hatred, but I saw a lot of racism. And the truth is some of that got inside me. I'm not proud of that, but it works its way into your heart, into, into your mind. And so I'm real proud to say that today I'm, I'm not that person. I've matured, I've grown, I've had to work hard to learn to love everybody, to want peace for everybody, to want justice for everybody. So I'm not the person that I was. I certainly don't look the same. I've eaten way too many hamburgers and not enough field peas. I'm not the same because I've matured emotionally and spiritually from the kid who played football in the front yard. I'm a grown-up now, and I know that the Apostle Paul was right when he said in 1 Corinthians 13, when I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish things. Racism, that's so childish. Put it away. And invite me over to your house and I'll take a stab at where the 
uh, okra was grown. And I'd love to tell you some stories about a little kid who loved field peas.